In this section of the Mathis TC30 training video, we will cover calibrating for thermal conductivity. Step 1. Select from the calibration menu the thermal conductivity guarded option. Step 2. Enter the timing parameters you will use to test your samples. In this example, we did a 10 second test time with a 4 second start time and a 5 minute cool time which is to allow the reference materials to come back to isothermal conditions between each test. Step 3. Select the first reference material and corresponding temperature. In this example, our first reference material is Pyrex at 30 degrees Celsius. The next step is to place Pyrex on top of the sensor with the weight on top and close the lid. Wait 5 minutes before initiating the first reference test. Click the Start Calibration button in the top left hand corner of the screen. This will initiate the first reference material test in your calibration. Then click OK in the next window which verifies you've placed the correct reference material on the sensor. The first three headings in the calibration table are reference material, effusivity, and thermal conductivity. The reference material heading displays the name of the current reference material you are testing. The effusivity and thermal conductivity headings display the value of that reference material. Each reference material should be tested twice to ensure reproducibility. Therefore, Click the Start Calibration Test in the top left hand corner to repeat the first test. The next step is to select your next reference material. This is accomplished by clicking the Material button in the top menu bar. Once you have selected your new reference material in the software, Open the chamber lid and change the reference materials. Remember, you must wait 5 minutes before proceeding with the next test to allow isothermal conditions. After the 5 minute temperature stabilization period, proceed with your next reference measurement. The building calibration table displays results from your reference test. Duplicate this one more time for reproducibility. After completing two tests on your second reference material, proceed by selecting your last reference material from the material button on the top menu bar. Once you've selected your last reference material in the software, open the chamber lid and change your reference materials. Again, you must wait 5 minutes before beginning your next test to allow for isothermal conditions. To complete your calibration routine, test your last reference material two times for reproducibility.
The three most important columns of your completed calibration table are VO, which is the initial voltage of the heating wire before each test begins, and M slope of the area of the line between the start time and the total test time of your chosen parameters. The calibration graph displays the calibration line of V over M versus the thermal conductivity of each reference material selected. And finally, to save your calibration, click Calibration Save As in the top menu bar of your software.